Here we have the inequality y is greater than 2 minus 2x. So y is greater than 2 minus 2x is our inequality. We want to graph this inequality in this case. So it's already written in the form that's familiar to us. If we can think about this greater than symbol being just like an equal sign and then worry about what that means a little bit later, then we can see this is in the slope-intercept form already. So we have y equals, it's written backwards, b minus 2x. So this, this is our b, or our y-intercept. And negative 2 is our slope. So we can graph this just like we've graphed other things, but then we can worry about what this inequality means. So let's find how we can graph this, and then we'll worry about what that graph uh, actually means. So the y-intercept is 2, so that means that we have a point at x equals 0 and y equals 2. So this point right here. So to think about that, we can say, if we plug in x is 0 here, what is y? Well, y is just going to be 2 minus 0 or 2. So then we can plug in other points, or we can just think about how we've done this before with the slope being negative 2. So we go down 2 and over 1. So our line will go through this point, and then down 2 over 1, and this point, etc. Now we need to pause before we make our line making this graph and think about what this means, greater than. It's not greater than or equal to, just greater than. So it's a dashed line, which means it's not including that line. So it's on one side of that line, but not including the line. It's exclusive. So we're going to have a dashed line like so. So some sort of straight-ish, you know, dashed line like this. Now we stop and we think it's greater than this. So this is actually giving us a range of possible uh, answers for, our, for this equation, this inequality rather. Before we would have had just a solid line and that would have been our solution. Now we want to say that y is greater than this. So are we on this side or this side? Well, it's actually an easy process to figure that out. If we're talking about y is greater than something, y is talking about the vertical or up down. So we just pick any point on here and then we say we go up and that's the part that, that this graph is including. So instead of just being some line, it's actually a whole range of space. And to do that, we often shade in that region. So again, if it's y greater than something, then we say that it's greater than or up from this line. If it were y less than, we would be down here. So the answer is actually all of space greater than this line in this direction up here. And that's it.